gonna take our three inch light squares and we're just gonna draw a line down the center on the diagonal. drawing I'm going to take the four two inch squares and do the same thing. Alright I'm going to take those set those to the side. Now we're going to match up the light three inch square to the dark three inch square. So we have the background fabric C matching it up to our leaf fabric which is going to be fabric A. Now, we're going to take all this to the sewing machine at the same time. I want you to take your fabric A and one of your background fabrics, you're going to line up the corner to corner. And when you stitch, you're going to stitch on this line. And then we're going to stitch this one in the opposite corner along this line. Now when we take the three inch squares, we're going to stitch one quarter of an inch away from this line on either side. All right, so we're going to take and I'm going to stitch on the line. I'm going to take this other one, I'm going to fold this up, place this right here in this corner, and I'm going to stitch on this line. open. We'll trim this part off and we'll press that open and there's our stem. We're going to do the same thing for this next one. Now we're going to trim this with a quarter inch leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. So there's that. On this ruler, I have a quarter inch line. That's one reason I like this ruler so well.
Just gonna finger press. So I'm gonna take this to the ironing board. These I'm going to press to the, in this direction. These I'm going to press the seams to the dark. I'm gonna trim off the dog ears and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're gonna square this up. I'm gonna use my, it's a four and a half inch ruler, but I'm gonna use my 45 and I'm gonna come down two and a half inches on this side and here to square it up. I'm gonna put my 45 on my seam line all our half square triangles done we have our stems made now we're gonna lay it all out Okay, now it doesn't quite all line up. That's simply because of your seam allowances. I am going to make this leaf first, this leaf second. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add these pieces. And then I will add the top and the bottom and then the outside borders. So, this one particular leaf, I'm going to put it together just like a nine patch. Right sides together. I'm gonna bring this over to keep it all lined up. I'm gonna take that to the sewing machine and I'll be right back. So I've pressed the seams. I pressed the top row out, the center row, the seams go in, and the bottom row, the seams go out. So when we fold these over, the seams are going in opposite directions. It helps them to nestle and you get a smoother seam with it helps with the bulk also okay so now i'm going to take this strip we're going to sew on this side in this strip, we're going to sew on this side. I'm gonna take this strip, sew here, and then we're going to take this and stitch it 
to there. So I'm gonna take all this to the machine. Okay, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna square this up to a six and a half inch block. take these and stitch this all together. So now we're going to have to take the top and stitch there, and the bottom and stitch there. Okay, now we're going to take the two ends, right sides together and sew them there. And take these two and we're going to take this side and stitch here. We're going to take this side and we're going to stitch here. I'm going to take all of this to the sewing machine. bottom sewed on. Now we're going to take the top, stitch it. We're going to make sure that we match these seams on either end. And there we have it. Ready to put the backing on and the batting. And there you go. So I'm going to show you how to use what I call the flip method in order to um, finish off this placemat. We're not going to bind it or anything like that. We're going to I have a backing strip that is 12 and a half inches by 19 and a half inches. This is what I'm choosing to use for the backing. And again, it's 12 and a half inches by 19 and a half inches. All right, so we're gonna put our batting down first. Then we're going to put our backing. Then I'm going to put my top right sides together. I'm going to put a few pins in it. When I stitch this, I'm going to leave enough room to put my hand in here and turn it. So I'm gonna start about right here and I'm gonna stitch one quarter of an inch all the way around and I'm gonna stop just on the other side of this seam. So I'm going to put a start and a stop pin. Now, I like to give myself plenty of room to turn 
I'm also going to back stitch at to each of these points. See you in a minute. Okay, now we're just going to clip the corners. turn it right side out. Just grab that corner and pull. So I ran a stitch line just right down the seam to close that up. Put some pins in it to stabilize it. Now let's go quilt it. <laughs> 